Okay. Okay, sorry this is running a little bit late, guys, but I got tied up some other things. I, I'm doing some things for the show, and, you know, I'm bouncing out emails, and I lost track of time after we got off the Zoom chat tonight. Plus, um, just got a whole lot on my plate. I'm, you know, I'm trying to do a lot of things creatively. I hate it when I get writer's block when I'm at home sitting in front of my damn computer where I can actually type on something when I'm at work. I got to start carrying a notepad again. But speaking of that, let's get on to Whogate. Don't dream. It's over. As far as I'm concerned, if they hadn't produced a single shred of evidence by now that Philip Morris has all these quote-unquote locked up hidden episodes, they're not going to. Um, it just seems to me like we've been the victims of a great fraud that apparently this was all done probably to draw more attention. You know the old saying in America, or maybe many other countries, that there's no such thing as bad publicity. And I think that's what we've been subject to with the Philip Morris slash Ian Levine feud. Is you know, Mainly it was Philip drawing attention to the TIEA. He's getting lots and lots of attention. Now all of a sudden, you know, oh, looky, I found these. Oh, look, I might have possibly found these. And suddenly a whole lot of people with a whole lot of money are looking your way. And I think that's what we've been the victim of. I think it was all just a, a cat and mouse game to promote you know, the TIEA and get them on the map. You know, especially after they'd found, you know, the two serials, Web of Fear and you know, Enemy of the World. And also, just to sum it up, this right here is when I changed my mind. This was a tweet put out by Ian on December 7th of this past year. So, at quote, so after all the hot air, I guess it, quote, in the capitals, really looks like Philip Morris has found no more Doctor Who whatsoever after seven years of searching. So that right there pretty much convinces me that the game is up, it's done, it's over. So unless something radical happens, and, and I'm not talking about, oh, looky, somebody on Twitter said something. Unless we actually get some shreds of evidence that something's been found, I am no longer even going to bother probably to report on this any further. I want to see something that has more meat to it than the crap we've been slung at us for the last couple of year, you know, year or so on this. That's why I basically stopped reporting on it because there's nothing to discuss and I don't think they're going to find anything. I I'm really sorry. Once again, I have to crush hopes. But that's my opinion. Or to basically put it in the words of Mel Brooks, We ain't found shit. Ah. Have a good evening.